Hello everyone, my name is Alexis and welcome to today's meditation for motivation. You don't need any props for this meditation unless you want a bolster or a block underneath you. And you can do this meditation, you can do this meditation lying down, but because it's a motivation meditation, I would recommend that you're at least sitting up with a tall spine that can be on the floor, on the edge of a, of a, of a couch cushion, or on the edge of a chair. It's up to you. Just get comfortable with a tall spine. And then when you arrive there, go ahead and close your eyes and begin to breathe in and out through the nose. And I want you to think about what do you need to be motivated to do today? Pick one thing. Don't overwhelm yourself. Just pick one thing that maybe is the thing that you're having the hardest time feeling motivated to do. Hold that in your mind for the duration of this meditation. We're going to be chanting an affirmation. And I want you to imagine to, to hold this thing in your mind, this thing that you need to do that you're lacking motivation to do. And I want you to imagine feeling this affirmation that I'm going to give you in just a moment, sort of layering over that, that task or that goal, like a balm, as if this affirmation can act as basically a lubricant or a, a segue into getting you to do this thing that you want to accomplish. So this affirmation may not feel 100% true right off the bat, and that's okay. The beauty of affirmations, the thing I love the most about affirmations is that oftentimes the affirmations that are the hardest for us to practice or the affirmations that we actually don't feel are that true to us are the ones that indicate our biggest potential for growth. So in this case, the affirmation is really straightforward. I can and I will. So for the course of this meditation, I want you to pick that one thing, that one task that you are feeling unmotivated to do. Imagine just holding it in your hands. And from your very, the very center of your being, in your meditation seat with your eyes closed, breathing just naturally, You can chant to yourself in your mind or out loud, I can and I will. I can and I will. I can and I will. And I want you to continue to chant it for the next several minutes. And as you chant this mantra, even if it doesn't feel true, even if it still feels impossible or challenging or just like you just don't want (laughs) to, I want you to imagine that you do want to. I want you to imagine that it's easy. I want you to imagine how it will feel when it's done. Hold those things in your mind as you chant this mantra over this task or this goal that you want to accomplish. And again, it's one task or goal, and it's it's not a big one. It's not making a million dollars in a year. It's an actionable thing you can do today. So maybe it's like, you need to clean the dishes. <laughs> Not many of us are easily motivated to clean the dishes. So maybe you are holding the chore of cleaning your dishes in your palms. And you are saying to yourself, I can and I will. I can and I will. And you're imagining cleaning the dishes. You're imagining all of them being done and put away in your cabinets, nice and clean. Your counters, nice and spacious. I can and I will. I can and I will. That's your meditation. So pick your thing. It might even help to hold your hands cupped in front of you. That might help solidify this visualization in your mind. And for the remainder, hold that task in your palms and chant, I can and I will. I can and I will. I can and I will.
go ahead and release your mantra. Release the task. If you did have your hands cupped in front of you, just bring them now to rest on your heart and take a big breath in through the nose and let it out the mouth. Whatever that task is, whatever that goal is that you're feeling unmotivated by, I hope that you feel a little bit more medi- uh, more motivated, but just in case you don't, this is one of the most important parts of the meditation. I want you to take another big breath in through the nose and on the exhale, let it go. Let go of that task. Let go of the feeling of pressure to do it. In many cases, those tasks can wait a minute. If you are feeling like it's something that you just cannot get done, it's okay. It will probably still be there tomorrow. Of course, there are exceptions. It's always good to brush your teeth. (laughs) It's always good to drink water. Always good to eat a snack. But if it's something like doing your dishes or a work project, something having to do with a responsibility that you have, Sometimes it's okay to let it wait. Sometimes it's important to trust that you will get to it when you need to get to it. There's a delicate balance between lighting a fire under your ass and knowing when you need rest. Take another big breath in through the nose. Exhale out once more. And just as a benediction over your entire life, every responsibility you have, everything you have under your purview, repeat to yourself, I can and I will. And trust that those things that you want to happen will happen. Bring your hands to heart center, to to prayer. Take another big breath in and out through the nose. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed this meditation. I hope you found it motivating. If so, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Namaste.